Hey guys, HW. I'm down in a little suburb today, just outside the city, sandwiched between Ultimo, Camper Town, and Annandale. And the suburb is Glebe. Now, to get out to Glebe, if you're coming to Sydney as a as a visitor or tourist, I just see in the background we can see the city. In the background we can see the Barangaroo Tower just there but to come out here today I caught the light rail out from Central Station I'll pop that image in here uh, it's only like a 10-15 minute uh, ride out from uh, Central Station or another nice way to come out if you if you happen to be staying down at Darling Harbour it's only 10 minute walk from the fish markets uh, to Glebe Point Road here so that's a that's an option uh, but in hindsight, after jumping on that light rail, what I'd probably do is I'd either I'd probably catch a bus out from Central Station if I was coming from that way, um, or I'd walk, and I'd probably catch the... It's an noisy motorbike. Uh, catch the light rail back, because uh, let me tell you, I just came up this street here, which is Palmerston Avenue, but um, just down the end there is Lombard Street and then there's a massive hill to get down to the Glebe Light Rail Station and it was dead set mountain goat stuff I was like struggling to get up the hill and look I, gr I grew up in Coogee, I grew up around hills I'm used to walking up and down hills but that one was quite steep so I'd say find another way to get here and again, like I said, it's only like 10, 15 minutes from the city. Find another way to get here, like bus, walk, Uber, whatever, and then maybe catch the light rail back would be a better option. Just coming here, for most people, they'll be struggling to get up that hill that I just walked up. So, yeah, come with HW as we get around Glebe, and I can see in the distance there the first place I'm going to talk about, which is the uh, Valhalla Cinema. Uh, the Valhalla Cinema, movie cinema that is, back in 1937, um, it was known as the Asta, or it opened up as the Asta Theatre, and they've actually put it on the uh, shop, shop awning there, and I say shop because now it's become a commerce um, area, there's shops and businesses in there, um, but it, um, you know, back in 1937 when it started as the Asta, it was a, it was the Asta up until 1979, and then in 1979 it became the Valhalla, um, and it closed down and reopened multiple times under different names. But it ended up closing as the Valhalla in 2005. Now, HW actually went to a movie at the Valhalla. Uh, there was times where it was... Just cross over the road here. There were times where it was um, only showing art house films. Um, but I remember the last film that I saw there was a horror flick. It was a pretty terrible one too, real B-grade film. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but there was lots of, lots of killing in it, obviously. But uh, I might see if I can just look in the window here. Or maybe I can just open the door and go in. Maybe not. No, I can't get the doors open, so I'll just look in through the window. You can see a few plaques up on the wall there. It's a picture of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which played here at some time. Different history. To try to find entry to, to really read all of those. But yeah, back to Glee. If you if you come into Sydney and you don't come to Glee, at least one day, you're missing out. First thing you're missing out on. Glebe Point Road which is full of all these lovely terraces you can see across the road but it's also full of lots of cafes and restaurants and being only 10-15 minutes away from the city and full of all this history you'd be as I said you'd be absolutely nuts if you didn't come down to Glebe at least for breakfast lunch or dinner at least one of the days that you're here 
So a bit more about glebe. Um, glebe's actually derived from a Latin word, um, which basically means soil or land, or a, or a parcel of land. And all of this area, um, going back to the sort of first fleet days, um, or the first, uh, yeah, the first fleet days when they actually settled Sydney, um, it was actually gifted to the uh, Anglican Church. Uh, all of this land around here, um, so thus it became Glebe. It was a parcel of land that was given to the given to the church. So yeah, that's enough of the the history for now. I'll uh, put my phone away because I was re- <laughs> I was reading that information off the phone. I couldn't remember it this time, so I thought that'd be the best option. So just give me a sec while I put my phone away. There's a bit of a view towards the city there, shows you how close it is. You can see the city skyline in the background there. But yeah, here's some more of these beautiful terraces. Start to hit some of the restaurants and cafes along Glebe Point Road, which is the main strip. So a few people enjoying their breakfast back there. Oh. Or late breakfast, maybe brunch. Again, HW's walking around in the uh, the middle of the day, you know, coming towards my lunch hour, because I find that's the best time of the day to capture a bit of action. Because human beings, when it comes to nourishment, they don't tend to miss out on the lunch hour. I don't even know what that hotel's called there. I have, I have been in it a couple of times. The AB Hotel or the AB Hotel, I'm sure that stands for something. I just can't remember what it is. Center point tower dominating the background over there. This is Bridge Road. You'll remember my from my Sydney fish markets. Uh, the vid Bridge Road runs past the fish markets, so you'd be probably coming up Bridge Road here if you were walking from the fish markets in Darling Harbour. Hooray, finally we get the green light. That was painful. This Dr. H.J. Folly Rest Park in here. It's a nice looking park. Got these big, big fig trees lining the outside of it. I won't stay here too long. I'll just quickly jump up on this wall to give you a bit of a view of the park. So yeah, there you go, some delightful fig trees there. And a bit of a green there to sit on or kick a soccer ball around. Pretty ugly looking mobile tower in the background. Ah, jump back down this wall. Jeez, look at that ye old cake store over there. It's pretty cool. Looks like it might be a cafe now though. Pretty close to uh, Sydney University here as well. Sydney University is just down the road this way that we're walking now. 
So you'll see a lot of students walking around. Uh, let's quickly do the real estate values in um, in Glebe. So for a unit, you're looking at anywhere between 960,000 and you know all the way up to like 2.2 million for a three-bedroom unit in Glebe. Um, houses start around the 2.3 million mark. For uh, hey, let's look at this church here. As I said, houses started about the $2.3 million mark and uh, go up to, you know, go up to like the late three millions, maybe even four million, some of them. This old sandstone church, I have no idea what the name of it is. I should know as I've been past it enough times. So let's get over there to the sign there and I can tell you what it is. We look at a few more of the delightful cafes and restaurants along Glee Point Road. Now this says St John's Road. What's the bet this church is called St John's? And it is St John's Anglican Church. There you go. So that's sitting on some of that parcel of land that Glebe derived its name from. There's a city down St John's Road there in the background again. So you can center point tower and the summit. So again, Glebe Point Road being one of the high streets in, in Sydney or the at least the high street in Glebe. It's got all these delightful old Federation and Victorian style um, shop fronts. You can see the uh, residential flats up the top and the shops down the bottom. And you see that standard all over Sydney, right? You see that in Balmain, you see that in Leichhardt, Stanmore, Lewisham, Petersham, all along Parramatta Road. It's all the same sort of style. It's a veg vegetarian Indian restaurant there called Green Mushroom. That's closed down. That's gone. Massage joint on the corner there. Bicycle shop. It's a delightful spring day in Sydney today. The sun's out. A few clouds around. The HW is walking around in shorts and t-shirt today. I'm super keen to shake off the cold weather, to be honest. But of course, on the other end, I'll be complaining when it gets, you know, over the 30 degrees mark in summer. Just walk past an art gallery there. All the artists standing out the front. Talking about their artwork. This old terrace house here. You might e mightn't even call it a terrace. It might be just a just a manor house on its own. Now this old building over here that I'm focusing on, that's pretty cool. Have a look at that. Look how small the, 
the balcony is. If I stood on that, I, my head would be touching the roof for sure. Looks like it used to be an antiques joint in the past. It's closed down. But yeah, look at that, that building, mate. That'd be going back to when Glebe was first developed. I'm not going to have time today to get up and down all the streets, but you can see all of those sort of old style terrace houses exist in, in every street that we walk past and down. So, beautiful place to come, Glebe. There's the bus that, as I said, that'd probably be your best way to come here on the way here from the city if you're not walking. And then, yeah, catch the light roll back. There's Soul Burger over there. All right, that's a beautiful looking terrace there. Looks like it's been turned into a commercial premises. Couple of backpackers there, it's nice to see they're back. All these terrace houses all joined together. Quite old, but not as old as that last one we just looked at. Of course, HW is uh, focused on some of these cafes. I'm scanning for where I'm going to have my nectar break, of course. Absolutely stinging for one. Haven't had my morning coffee, and it's getting near lunch. Buddy, I have to call the ambulance in a minute. Some more terraces. There's the flying fajita sisters over there. There's no mystery about what they make in there. Now this Glebe Public School in here, I'm pretty sure this is where they hold the Glebe markets on the weekends. Um, God, I can't even remember the last time I've been to Glebe Markets, but yeah, pretty sure this is where they hold it, inside the grounds of the Glebe Public School. So if you come down on the weekend, I'm not sure which days it, it actually, um, they actually hold it, but uh, yeah, might be able to get yourself something cool in the markets. couple of bookstores over there I'd probably say I've had more dinners in Glebe Point Road than I've had breakfasts I have been to breakfast here a few times but I think I've been to a lot more dinners here the last dinner I had here wasn't that long ago and it was in a Greek restaurant I'll see if I can spot that when I walk across the other side of the, the road. Another thing about Glee Point Road, it's within spitting distance of the Broadway Shopping Centre. And there's the Broadway Shopping Centre there. If you've been to Sydney before, you'll know that uh, Broadway is like not very far from the city. It's pretty much, you'd have, I'd class that as being in the city really. So again, within walking distance. Cheeky sushi bar here. Few people in there enjoying it. Oh, these little courtyard coffee shops are awesome. Have a look at this one over here. Oh, it's not a coffee shop, it's an Indonesian restaurant. There's another Indonesian restaurant. 
making a habit of finding the Indonesian restaurants on film now. Here we go. This is where I last had breakfast when I was in Glebe. It was somewhere along here, this set of old sandstone shops. But I can't see it, so I think it might be closed. I've got a feeling it might have been in this building here. But it looks like it's been turned into a number of different businesses now. It's Pizza Planet here. Pretty cool. There's another cheeky cafe here. Look at this place. Gambodge Cafe. It looks all right. That's an option. And here we are, coming to the end of Glebe Point, Glebe Point Road, or at least the section that I filmed. And uh, that's uh, Sydney Uni up there past that park. So I'm not going to go to Sydney Uni today. But have a look at this old uh, university hall here. I've never been inside this university hall, but I assume that back in the day it must have been a, you know, lodgings for the students. Yes, another green light, dominating. Try to sneak out here a bit and not get run over. I filmed down Parramatta Road. Right down the end there where you see all those people on that poster on that Makua Hotel. That's pretty much Central Station. So again, within walking distance, yeah? Few more cars and people starting to mill around now as we get closer to lunch. Yeah, look at these old balconies, will ya? Amazing. Got here the Sultan Palace. It's a little cafe there. The Peak Hong Kong Cafe. We've got home Thai cuisine in there. Cheeky Thai restaurant. I like Thai food. It goes all right. This, what's this? Another little cafe called Copper Fix. Right next to an antique store. So you can get a cup and then walk in there and check out the antiques. There's another coffee shop here. The disp what's it called? The dispensary. That looks alright as well. That might be an option. We'll keep going. Cheeky gelato shop here not open, wouldn't be serving many today. There's another little park there and there's the Broadway shopping centre again. 
a Turkish eatery, they say on this corner here. Turkish eatery, staff needed. Making some goslami in there by the looks of it. A delicious, I love goslami. Yes, Lock, what's that? Lokanta. Here's a coffee shop, the Dirty Red. Oh, look at all the seating they got out the back. Or is this a different place? Nah, it must be part of the Dirty Red. Hey, guess what? Guess where HW is going for the nectar. One of those places where you get the Brazilian waffles and chocolate drinks. Yeah, churros. Here's that bookstock I book bookstock. Bookstore that I mentioned before. Right next door to another bookstore. Oh, it's got a cafe in it too. It's pretty cool. Now this is a cafe or a restaurant called The Wedge here right on the corner. People s sitting in the window on laptops Smashing down nectars and food, probably poke bowls or plates of quinoa or something, I'd say, by the looks of them. Cheeky restaurants here that by the look of things. One here called Otto. slow down a bit this guy's getting a bit edgy that I'm following him with the camera shit almost tripped over then organic pizza doesn't look like they're open Another little cafe in there, I don't know what this one's called. Got no name on it. Looks alright there. Where's the sun gone? Bring back the sun, it was nice and warm. These clouds have moved in. Oh, here's another cafe. What's this? Gone in 60 days. Actually, that looks like a bit more of a burger joint. If you look down this street here, which is called Mitchell Street, I don't know whether you can see, but in the distance you can see a bit of a green at the bottom of the street where the cars are crossing. That's Wentworth Park. Wentworth Parks, um, where they've all, always uh, run greyhounds. There's greyhound racing down there. 
I used to go down there quite a bit when I was younger. I actually owned a couple of greyhounds. Um, but they were never good enough to to make it to the track there. And they mostly raced in the country, but I did have some mates that had greyhounds that ran down there. It's always a nice spectacle, the greyhound racing, because they're just so damn fast. You get a shock when you see them run down the sandy track and run past you. All right, camera crapped out there, they overheated. So I'm making my way to the nectar joint now. This is the one I chose, dirty red. So let's get in there and get a flat white. Check out the atmosphere. So I'm inside Dirty Red. It's another one of these places where you got to order your coffee with the barcode. Here's the back of Dirty Red. I was going to sit inside, it's a bit dark, but I'm out in this nice courtyard and everybody's sitting out here in this, getting a bit of sunlight through the, the pergola here, or as the Yanks like to call it, a pergola, and having their breakfast. So I'll order my nectar on the uh, app and then um, I'll film it and then uh, I'll get out of here. All right, my nectar's arrived, delicious flat white. A dirty reds. Looking down this cheeky little alleyway here. It's gonna be a delight. Let's get into it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, delicious. So yeah, let me enjoy this nectar and I'll get back on the film in a sec. All right, the nectar's over. Let's get out of here. Let's get down this cheeky little alleyway. Get back out onto Glee Point Road. And then I thought I might um, walk down Parramatta Road a little bit towards Broadway. And then call it a, call it, call it a day there. So yeah, that was a dirty, that was a, I was about to say that's a dirty, <laughs> I was going to say that was a delightful little cafe, Dirty Reds. I'll definitely come back there for a meal when I've got the time one day. There's a nice quiet spot off the busy road and um, nice little courtyard and it had some delicious looking food in there that I saw come out and saw people tucking into. So yeah, definitely might go back there. So if you come to Glebe yourself soon, make sure you check out Dirty Reds. Given I'm so close to Central Station, I'm thinking I might just walk down past Broadway to Central Station rather than wait for a bus or a or a light rail to come past. So here's your main arteri arterial road going into the city. The, uh, or, or even actually this is part of the Great Western Highway, right? Parramatta Road, going past Broadway. So, oh hey, look through the park there. 
I can see a cheeky Toby's estate sign. I wonder that where where whether I should say. I wonder whether that's where they actually do the roasting. Trying to point to it over there. See the Toby's estate? The black sign. Might have to go and check out that one day. They're not a bad roaster's Toby's, even though they show up in the supermarket shelves. They're a nice looking uh, or oh, nice tasting coffee, the old Toby's. So yeah, hey look, as we walk down the main strip here, I might take this opportunity to say goodbye. So I hope you enjoyed the, the walk around Galeeb today and checking out a few of the cafes and restaurants. As we look at the Lansdowne Hotel in the background over there, the video is over.